So it is possible to boost the performance in Dragon's Dogma 2 with frame generation, aka DLSS3, but there are a few requirements to do this. Number one, it is PC only. Sorry console players, but this requires a mod. Number two, you do need an NVIDIA RTX 40 series GPU. No other GPUs will support DLSS3. And lastly, number three, you do need to download this free mod and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. So the first thing you'll need to do is head on over to Pure Dark's Patreon page. The link is down in the description and very simply just download this zip file. You can see the link to it right here. Just download that to start. Next, you'll just need to locate your Steam folder where the Dragon's Dogma 2 files are. If you go to Manage and Browse Local Files, it'll take you right to that folder. Next, you'll basically just need to take the file from the zip that you downloaded uh, which is this sl.interposer.dll and you really just need to either copy and paste or drag and drop that into your Dragon's Dogma 2 folder. Uh, it will overwrite the DLL that's currently there. But before you do that, you might just want to make a backup of that current DLL. I created a DD2 backup folder on my desktop and just copy and pasted this one into this folder so it was there. And then I took the DLL from the zip that I downloaded from Pure Dark's Patreon and copied this one and pasted into the Dragon's Dogma Steam folder and overwrote that. And congratulations, you've installed the mod. And now it's time to try out some actual gameplay with it. So I am playing Dragon's Dogma 2. I do have DLSS3 frame generation turned on with a special mod from Mr. Pure Dark. I will leave a link in the description below where you can get this mod. I am getting 80 frames per second right now on an RTX 4060 with a Xeon W2135 build. Um, now, you're not going to see in the settings. If I go to settings here, you're not going to see. I'm in 1440. Um, I've maxed my frame rate at 60, even though I'm getting more than that. Uh, I probably should max it, actually. Make it variable. So I've got DLSS on. You can see quality. I've got low latency on, upscale sharpness, and all the individual settings here. You do not see an option for frame generation. Um, so it's kind of hidden, but what you do is just hit the end button on your keyboard and that will enable DLSS3. If I hit it, it should turn it off and you'll see my frames dip down. Now I'm in the 40s and 50s. If I hit end again, we bump right back up. Now we're at 75, 80. And I have a harpy or whatever this thing is I need to kill here. Good thing I have a mage with some uh, range because I... here we go. All right, now we can get him. And yeah, we're sticking right at that 75, 74 FPS mark, and it looks so much better. I didn't have this on before. I was barely getting 30. It might have been something with my DLSS settings, and I had to reset the game, but I do have OBS running. I'm recording with OBS right now, so I'm getting great frame rates while recording. Um, I really can't complain about that. People are reporting some crashes with it. I haven't seen any yet. I, I just barely started using it, but so far so good. So yeah, I would highly recommend this until Capcom fixes performance issues. If you have a 40 series card, I would highly recommend downloading this mod. It's going to make the experience so much better. Alrighty, thank you for watching and uh, I'll check you in the next one.